All right, we got um, three, four more months till the end of the year. A lot of legislative damage can be done between now and then. We bring in my great pal, Senator Pat Toomey, ranking member, Senate Banking and Housing, uh, to talk about the potential damage. Senator Toomey, welcome back, sir. Good to see you. Thanks. Thanks for having me, Larry. Uh, so I have a, this is kind of hot off the press late this morning. Biden administration settles with um, eco groups to block massive oil drilling leases. Let me just read you this. I don't know who knows what about this, but you're from an oil state, more or less. Biden administration engaged in a legal settlement. I don't know what that means. On Tuesday, with an environmental group agreeing to block drilling on more than 58,000 uh, acres of public land. Okay, Montana and the two Dakotas. The deal, Senator Toomey, is between the Department of the Interior and a coalition of organizations led by Wild Earth Guardians and Sierra Club. And I just want to amend or add, uh, we are all mindful of the promise to Senator Manchin that if he voted right. for the Inflation Reduction Bill, so-called, he would get permitting reform. And here are the Bidens with some kind of legal settlement to take 58,000 acres of public land off the grid for leasing purposes. Uh, what do you make of this? What, and what kind of legal backing <clears throat> is this? And what does this mean politically? Well, well, so, Larry, first of all, I'm, I'm not familiar with that particular settlement or deal, whatever it is they've struck. We'll look into this. But I think you've got to look at this in the context of the bigger picture. The administration clearly and obviously wants much higher energy prices. There's no mystery here, right? I mean, time and time again, what has he done? He's made it more difficult to bring American energy to market, whether it's canceling the XL pipeline, whether it's the fact that he has the record, I believe, for the fewest leases uh, available to oil and gas developers, whether it's the people that he nominates throughout his executive branch, regulators of all kinds, all with the mission of diminishing the availability of fossil fuels. So when gas prices go through the roof, that's, that's not a bug, that's a feature, right? That's what they want. Uh, so this sounds like it's the latest iteration on this theme, Larry. Yeah, I mean, they've just nominated an environmental lawyer to run the OIRA. That's the regulatory arm of the administration, the Office of Information and Regulatory Affairs. Uh, and, you know, even with this Joe Manchin thing, I mean, I, looking at some information from Washington people, they're not just giving him his pipeline, and they're not just giving him a vote, per se. The House people are against the vote, first of all. Right. But right. the Mountain Valley pipeline, they're going to try to expedite. It's gone to court. And there's a lot of rigmarole in the uh, fine print of this so-called deal that's going to go into the continuing resolution, I guess, due September 30th, if we don't have a government shutdown. I mean... Was Manchin duped into this? I mean, you uh, look at this, you look at the leasing story, you look at this lawyer, they, the Bidens haven't changed one iota. They are obsessed no. with a war against fossil fuels, aren't they? Uh, absolutely, Larry. Look, I, I personally like Joe Manchin very much. I think he's a, he's a terrific guy, very friendly, very likable guy. But for the life of me, I don't understand what he got out of this deal. By the way, you know, we see very vague generalities about what this permitting bill is supposed to look like. We've got no legislative language. Mm -hmm. And as you point out, they got a real problem with how they're going to pass this in the House when 47 Democrats say they're opposed to this. So I don't know what the path forward is. I don't know what's going to be in it. But the problem is most Democrats don't want permitting reform, mm -hmm. right? You know that. Think about how hard you worked to make the improvements to the NEPA process. They don't want anything like an expedited process. They want to use the courts and the legal and the regulatory system to stop delivering fossil fuels to the people who need it. So I don't see how this deal ends up working out well for Joe Manchin. You know, um, the fewest leases onshore and federal lands yeah. since Harry Truman. Which goes back a ways, okay? Well, goes, well think about that. Goes right. back a ways. What does that tell you? Yeah. I mean, well, so. Well, that's, that's my point. And we're supposed to think that they don't actually want higher energy prices when they do everything they can to stifle energy development? Come on. By the way, uh, you probably didn't see it, but we put on the full screen a great, fabulous chart. The most leases granted by a president was my former boss, one Ronald Reagan, going yeah. back a ways. Ronald Reagan. 
Mr. Trump made it a lot easier because of the permitting reform, but Reagan right. put a lot right. on the market. Senator yeah. Toomey, let's move on um, with the CR coming. Um, how much extraneous spending to add to more inflation? You know, we've had about one and a half trillion dollars of additional spending just in the last yeah. month or six weeks from these crazy Democratic bills. Uh, how much more is coming? And by the way, sir, what about tax hikes? What about tax hikes in the continuing resolution? What you make about that? <clears throat> They're not going to be able to raise taxes in the continuing resolution. You know, there's no Republican support for raising taxes. Uh, what we're trying to do is keep this a, a clean continuing resolution without the various add-ons that they would like to pile into this. We don't know what it's going to look like yet. I'm not sure that Senator Schumer has decided what this is going to look like. Uh, but uh, this is... This is on their list for the next few weeks, so we'll see, we'll see a draft soon. What we should be doing, of course, is making our tax reform for 2017 arguably the most successful tax reform in several generations. We've got to be making it all permanent. Yes. That's what we should be doing. There's, there's no Democrat support for taking that extremely successful policy, proven successful, and making it permanent. No, no Democrat support for that. I mean, I have this other radical idea. I mean, you're quite right about what you just said, absolutely. But this other radical idea is having put out a trillion and a half in spending. I mean, that's what it sums to. And the student loan estimates may be low. Oh, uh, but, yeah. but, 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 does anybody care about things like pay-fors? You know, like maybe we should have spending offsets so that America doesn't go completely broke in the next year or two? Larry, I defy. Here's my challenge to you and, and anybody who's listening. Find a program in the federal government other than in the security space, anything else, that any Democrat is willing to cut. Mm. I, I don't think you can find it. Mm. They won't even agree to curbing the rate at which it grows. No, it's a huge problem. This massive overspending to the tune of trillions and then the student loan fiasco, that could be a trillion dollars, which, yep. by the way, he has no legal authority to do it. It's so grossly unfair. It, it's really just completely out of control, Larry, which is why... I think the November elections, I do think the cavalry is coming. I know you've used that phrase, and I think you're right to use it, because the American people have seen what's going on, and, and they know they've got to bring this to a halt. Last 30 seconds, sir. The toughest question I'll ever ask you. Will Emmett Oz win the Senate election in Pennsylvania? Yeah, I think Oz is going to pull this out. He's a really good candidate. He's a really sharp guy. He is working really hard, crisscrossing Pennsylvania every single day. I was with him uh, yesterday morning. Meanwhile, John Fetterman's idea of campaigning is to send off snarky tweets in his basement uh, and, and hide from the fact that he is radically left. I mean, he is a Bernie Sanders, AOC, socialist Democrat. And, Larry, that's not Pennsylvania. That's not the Pennsylvania I know. Anyway, now, now it's not the Pennsylvania I represent. That was an easy question. You know, I'm such a person. Yeah, it was. That was yeah, an was. easy question. <laughs> <laughs> Senator Pat yeah. Toomey, thank yeah. you, sir. I appreciate it.